Hey guys and welcome to another reaction video. Uh, yeah, I said in like the video I uploaded like a month ago that I would be doing uh, <laughs> the finale, the season two finale of Pony Meets World, but that's long as hell. It's like half an hour long, and I already did fifty minutes of uh, the season eight opener for My Little Pony, so I don't want to do something super long right now. So instead, I'm going to continue with the totally legit recap series. It was requested that I do this uh, more often, so I'm going to. Today I'm going to be reacting to uh, Newbie Dash and the Heart's Warming Tale. Newbie Dash, yeah. I think this episode got some criticism because of the uh, Wonder Worlds, because they were kind of assholes. But someone quite correctly pointed out that they have been assholes before. Like, it seems to be just a thing that the Wonderbolts do sometimes, they're just kind of assholes. I mean, a lot of ponies appear to be assholes if you watch the, uh, the, the show a little more. Not huge assholes, but they do pretty dickish things sometimes, so it shouldn't be much of a surprise. Uh, I only really remember that incredibly cringy scene of Ra Rainbow Dash intimidating her friends in order to get a new nickname. It... On one hand, I can kind of understand it. It's the name that she's been bullied with. It's understandable that she really wouldn't want the Wonderbolts to call her that, but they don't know. It would have been better just to tell her that, like, I like just go to them and get say, I, I get what you're trying to do with the nickname and all. It's great, but not this one. I have a childhood problems with that name, but this is a kids TV series, so I sh maybe should be expected that beside that episode will be pretty short unless the Roman Wonder Woods are huge assholes and start bullying her bullying her you can't fucking talk whatever let's just see what he says about this three two one click So yeah, Spitfire right. is like, yo, Dash, how's my voice sound? And Dash is like, needs to be a little higher, man. <laughs> and Spitfire is like, oh, yeah, also you're a Wonderbolt now. And Dash is like, oh, right, come on, Scoots, it's margarita time. And is just like, bro, I'm 12. Like, Don't worry about it, they got the little ones. Man, every time I see Dash's house, all I can think is... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> So Dash is chilling with the dudes, and she's like, Yo, guys, I need a way to make the Wonder Bolts into my personal fan club. And they're like, Don't you already have one of those? <laughs> and Dash is like, Yeah, but Scootle is passed out in the bathroom of the Ponyville karaoke bar. So what do I do? And Flutter uh, is like, Um, don't fuck up. And Twilight's like, How about you just do what they tell you and not be a huge pain in the ass for once? And Dash is like, Good call, sunglasses. And everyone's Wait, just what? like, Here we go again. So <laughs> Dash gets to the Wonder Bowl thingy and tries to moonwalk while singing Billie Jean and stacks it and lands in a trash can. Spitfire laughs so hard she has a complex partial seizure and Fleetfoot triggers Dash's PTSD. Uh, what's your deal, dude? You're weird and creepy and kind of a dick. So they spend the rest of the day hazing the shit out of Dash and then they make her clean the bathroom. Then Fleetfoot is suddenly really nice and asks her out for drinks and Dash is just like, oh my god, how much Rohypnol and Xanax does she have? <laughs> so they're back at the Rainbow Factory and Dash is like, guys, I fucked up. And Fluttershy is like, I called it. Man. And Randy's just like, darling, bro, just do something actually useful and they won't even care anymore. And Twy's like, yeah, Dash, groups have, like, dynamics, and you have to, like, take a little time and feel things out before you know how to fit in. And Dash is like, good thinking, guys, I'll act like a fucking crazy person. And they're all, do we, like, stop her? And <laughs> Twy's like, look, we've been through this all before, just let it play out. So Dash acts like a raving lunatic, but at least she finally learns how to blow dry. And Spitfire's <laughs> like, yo... I don't know why you stopped taking your lithium, but you need to get back on that now. And Dash is like, am I cool yet? And Fleetfoot's like, lithium. Anyway, it's the day of Rainbow's first show with the Wonder Bolts, and she's like, hey, Scoots, I need lithium. you to do something for me. And Scoots is like, dude, I woke up in a urinal three days ago, and I am 
positive it's your fault. But Scootaloo does it anyway because that's how <laughs> codependent relationships work. They fuck up the show and Dash Electric slides into the table. And she's like, dude, I'm sorry. I just wanted you guys to stop being dicks to me. And Spitfire's like, Dash, we treat each other like shit too. We're a bunch of complete assholes. <laughs> yep. how, how do you think we put up with Fleetfoot? And like, whoa. Good point. So Dash is finally uh, happy, and Twilight's just like, see guys, Rainbow's an asshole, and she has to learn this stuff by hurting herself. And Dash is <laughs> like, you know what, Twilight? I finally realized something. I am an asshole, but it's okay, because I've found my people. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Okay, that was amazing. Let's get to the next one, Heartswarming Tale. Yeah, that that sure was an episode. Uh, yeah, very very nice uh, musical episode. Let's see what he thinks about it. Three, two, one, click. It's Christmas all of a sudden. Sure. Alright, so it's hearts warming, all the ponies are showing each other their tongues, and is at that level of drunk where she thinks six people singing a song for fun requires a conductor. Still, everyone's having a... Wait, wait. Hold on. Back up. Okay. Alright. Sure. Uh, we don't want to have to take Derpy to the emergency room on Christmas. So it's pony Christmas, and Twilight's like, dude, limbs, check out my tongue. I'll sit <laughs> down here, man. This eggnog will knock you on your ass. And Glimmer's like, nah, man. Holidays are for normies and casuals. <laughs> cool, self-aware people like me. And Twilight's like, oh my god, that's so cute. Somebody's discovered the internet. And Glimmer's all, yeah, it opened my eyes. Being happy and enjoying things is for nerds. And Twilight's like, yes. okay, story time. So a long, 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 long time ago in an alternate reality where Rarity ran a fabulous fashion dictatorship, a bunch of people <laughs> liked something, but you didn't. And you were like, your thing is lame. Stop liking what I don't like. But they didn't listen. So you cast a spell that would make your opinions into facts. And Glimmy's like, bro, <laughs> holidays are lame. I'm not saying you can't like them. And Twice like, you're halfway there, dude. So Applejack's dead in this fic. And she's like, dude, remember that guy you used to chat with on AIM all the time when you were 12? He was like 29 and lived with his parents, and all he did was watch anime. And, uh, you really shouldn't have let him influence your worldview this much. And you were like, holy shit, I really needed an adult, and I didn't realize it. And so Glimmer proper is like, whoa, Twilight, <laughs> hold on a sec. This is, like, better than my actual backstory. <laughs> like, Are you really going to do this right now? And Glimmer's like, no, no, I'm not. God. Anyway, Twilight gets, like, way into this story and starts yeah. doing the voices and stuff. And Glimmy's like, dude, Twilight, I've already read this fucking book. You don't have to act it out for me. And Twilight's like, man, I'm having fun with this, all right? Just <laughs> shut the fuck up and listen. So Dead AJ made you realize that your view of reality was completely fucking warped. And Dead Pinky made you realize that other people having fun won't kill you. Also, she made you watch a live performance of University Days. But plot things always happen what? in three. So a horrifying eldritch abomination with the head of a waifu showed up. <laughs> with the head of a waifu. It's great that you basically understand subjectivity, but you're still kind of an elitist prick. And you were like, of course I am. That's my entire persona. And she's like, yeah, dude, because you spend too much time on the fucking internet. Right? <laughs> Check this out. This is what real life would be like if everyone acted like they did on the internet. It will literally be hell. And you were like, holy mm. shit, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Glimmer's like, wow, Twilight, thanks for reading me that book. I already knew the story and the moral is obvious, but you put ponies in it. So I actually paid attention. And Twilight's like, yeah, dude. That's how we do. And Glimmer's like, all right, bro, let's get fucked up. Nobody's going to judge yes. us because it's hearts warming. And Twy's like, man, that's the holiday spirit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Spike looks pretty stoned. <laughs> bro. Oh, this was amazing. Yep. As always, two great videos. I don't know how he does it, but he does it, and I love him for it. Yeah, what can you really say? Um, I have been looking forward to this episode, this episode without even knowing it. 
pretty much. It was a sp very special episode. I really liked it a lot, and most people did. So yeah, I don't know. Newbie Dash was okay. I like Newbie, Newbie Dash. I liked how. Uh, I would have liked an episode dedicated more to how she got into it. Well, actually, nah, not probably good the way it is. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Two really great, two really great videos to two pretty good, or well, one pretty good episode and one really good episode, I would say. And yeah, I don't know, Heart Swarming Tale, like that, his version of the Heart Swarming, fucking sh whatever shit was. I don't know, it was funnier than the others, I had a feeling like this was a little bit better. Which is a good thing, of course, but... I don't know. I don't know. He's just really good at what he does. Yeah, I really like this a lot, and I think that's everything I have to say for this. At least now. I mean, it's not like any other point I could... I mean, I could, but I, I won't. I would just start talking about this in another video, so... This is all I have to say right now, so I'm gonna end the video right here. So if you guys like this little commentary, and I'll see you next time. Bye.